Nobody, no one. Doctor! Hello. You've changed. Regenerated. Ah. Yeah, someone tripped out my cordis on the lost 27th letter of the English alphabet and sent me crashing into the entire language. I hope you didn't leave a mark. Bit of a dent, actually. Yeah. They called it the Great Vowel Shift. So, this is the new you. <laughs> I take it the scarf is your idea of a joke. Do you like it? Yeah, I was thinking more homage. You forgive me if I'm not flattered. Killjoy. Oh, but look at you. You're all young again. Like when I first met you. And I've just seen old Dim Bob Hex. It's like a reunion. I hope for your sake you haven't harmed him. Harmed him? Oh. Harmed him? That's a nice idea. Maybe later. Sir, I'm guessing you're from my future. A contemporary of my oldest self. Oh, yeah. You and me, Doctor. We battled through space, time, and half a dozen other dimensions. It broke a few of them, too. And the sacrifices you made trying to stop me, heartbreaking. Seriously. But I'm still ahead on points. Would that be before or after you found yourself locked inside the Forger's vault? How did I do that, by the way? Ah, that'd be telling. The Forge were great, though, weren't they? I loved Nimrod. Welcome to the Forge, Doctor. Brilliant. But you had to go and kill him, didn't you? You're like some intergalactic Elliot Ness fun, please. You're too kind. I ran into them the first time I was following you. Do you remember? 1945. After I regenerated, I needed to lay low for a bit, so I disguised my cordis as their catchphrase and hid in plain sight. For king and country. That was your ship. Sometimes. Very clever. But tell me, after all these encounters with my future self, how do you expect to take care of the present me, here and now? Wouldn't that create a paradox in your personal timeline? What? As if I'm some sort of space-time beholden, slave to science, matter ape like you? I'm an unanchored causal intervention in your universe, Doctor. Please stop. With your every demented action, you jeopardise the whole of the established reality. That's what you said to me once. Happy days! Anyway, let's make all this chat about your future self, your future full stop, purely academic. Do you know, I think you might be right. TG Tablet. Searching. Oh, you've made a gizmo! What is that thing? No, no, don't tell me. I, I can read matter like a book. A transgalactic tablet, mind probe, speakers. I don't get it. You're not proposing to project a chunk of the transgalactic internet at me. But it might even work if you had a big enough topic, which you probably don't. But if you did, and you channeled it through your brain using the mind probe, then... That'd burn out your cerebral cortex. You'd die. I know. Ah, so you're bluffing. The Doctor is the only person in all history the Doctor won't sacrifice. Cordis, give me a disruptor pistol. Connection non-optimal. Non-optimal? What do you mean? Optimal. I need you to work. Ace, it's nobody, no one. He's already here. Get down. The professor's taking care of it. I've heard that before. Oh, not the time, Hex. Just stay out of sight. Come on, you stupid machine. Connect. Oh, come off it, Doctor. We both know you'll never activate that device. You'll just wait and wait for someone else to take the fall for you. I've seen it all before. In fact, I think I'll just shoot you now. Get down, Doctor! All units, open fire! No, no, you mustn't! Soldiers are brilliant! Someone else takes the bullet, isn't it? Come here, Corporal. Get off me! Oh, the powers this place is granting me, Doctor. Just while we've been having our little chat, 73 people used the phrase, Nobody tells me what to do. An anxious general said, 
No one has access to the silo room. And a lorry driver, who's a bad poet in his spare time, came up with the line, Nobody stops the earth spinning or tells the sun when it can shine. I'm going to have so much fun with this planet. Do you want a preview? I go of me. In a minute. Hey, Doctor! Have you heard? Nobody tells the sun when it can shine. And I say... Stop. It's night. That's not possible. How is it night? Nobody knows. Please. Connect. Come on. No connection. Available. <laughs> Down, Doctor. I'm going to have to turn the sun back on just to see your face. There. Nothing to say. Well, you can grovel if you want. Or should I stop the Earth next? Just let the corporal go, word lord. Oh, I almost forgot. Repeat after me, little soldier. Nobody can stop the Doctor regenerating. Say it! Stop! Nobody... Nobody can stop the Doctor regenerating. No one has the power of life and death over the Doctor. No one has the power of life and death over the Doctor. Well done. Off you pop. Don't! Ah! You didn't have to kill him. Whatever. Time's up, Time Lord. Any last words? Connected. Transgalactic internet search for the Doctor complete. What? Oh, yes. I've got last words. Several billion last words, in fact. It's high time nobody knew one that you heard exactly what kind of a man I am. Activated. Fish is in the Thames, you're optimistic. Cross wits with emperors, cross swords with kings. And Doctor, by the way, the Daleks. The entire ship will explode. miserable 